Hi guys, welcome to Simproof. Fry speaking here, and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. This time it's a room build, kind of. It's more of a very creepy basement build. And it's part, or it's the basement of my last build, the Poppy Mansion Villa. I have no idea. It's like a huge Victorian something. Mansion, yeah, it's a mansion, let's say. And it has a hidden basement, and that's this satanic crypt, as you have already seen in the thumbnail. And I also want to welcome every horror fan because that's why you clicked on it, didn't ya? Didn't ya? You did. I'm a big horror movie fan, and therefore I wanted to create something kind of creepy for The Sims 4. And I thought, hey, maybe my Sims are Satanists or something <laughs> that live there. And here you can already see me like trying to make a pentagram on the floor with the, um, it's I guess uh, the floor lights or something. It's supposed to be floor lights and it's going to be like the most shittiest pentagram you have ever seen in your life. And it's even like, even though I corrected it, it's going to be very ungeometrical, I guess. But hey, I tried my best and then like after doing it the third time, I thought, ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> this one is staying like it is already. It's like, it's enough. You can see it's supposed to be a pentagram, so it's okay, it's okay. The Sims don't mind. <laughs> So yeah, I have a pentagram in there, of course, and maybe they have some weird rituals going on there. I'm a big fan of the debug object of the like wall-mounted lionfish, because the lionfish in The Sims 4 looks so, so derpy. It's like the most ugliest fish in the world. And everybody who knows me knows that I love ugly animals. Ugly animals are the best. And therefore my sims are not, not technically satanists, they are technically lionfishnists. <laughs> well, they kind of, you know, offer the big great lionfish something and they need this pentagram ritual room somehow for it. And yeah, maybe you can come up with a really cool idea for that and write it in the comments. So if you are like a really nice storyteller or like even a writer, go for it and enlighten us. Maybe you have like a better idea because I'm just, I was just thinking I need like a lionfish in there because it looks pretty cool. Also a little bit demonic. Maybe that's why I love him so much. He looks a little bit evil somehow. And yeah, so you come in and there's this pentagram on the floor. I made it with, like I've already said, the floor lights. I set the floor lights to red. And then I also use from Spada like this weird rounder shape. I have no idea what it is. It's like the official spa day symbol, I guess. Um, I used a couple of red crystals and geodes and yeah, all that stuff. Also, I will like put tons and tons of candles in there, you know, to decorate it a little bit more. Also some chandeliers and some candelabras and yeah, all that stuff because candles are awesome and are like suiting for this whole vibe. And then on one corner there will be yeah some bookshelves so maybe they have like their magic books in there or like their I don't know maybe it's like a secret society I was like imagining maybe it's a secret society in my Sims 4 world that I will use in my alienation let's play and therefore it's actually pretty good to kill all those humans with my aliens and uh, because they are evil <laughs> You know, I'm like a pretty... I'm a simple girl. I see, like, I don't know, something horror-related and I click like. So this is basically how it worked. I was like, yeah, you could actually do a pentagram with that and do like a satanic crypt. And then I was thinking, am I going to build that on my channel? Am I like showing this on my channel? Because I also know that some of my viewers are younger and maybe they get scared and you know I don't want to creep them off therefore I was like really thinking a long time about it but then I was remembering that last Halloween I did a whole Halloween week and I did the serial killer basement and nobody really nobody wrote like in the comments of the serial killer basement that it's not suiting for children or something so I think it's okay guys <laughs> it's just you know fun and I want my sims to be serial killer sometimes and I want to have some satanists in my sims. I know it's like something not like as 
pleasant or happy as The Sims 4 actually is. But yeah, that's just me. So I need that, you know, to make it more realistic. You need some kind of evil to appreciate the good in the game, maybe. So this is what I did here. Lots of candles. Oh, I even used some skeletons. So it kind of looks like catacombs. Even better would be, of course, like some stacked skulls or something like the one in Paris, I guess. And there are even like some really cool Italian, I guess, uh, churches that are like entirely, the whole walls are full with skulls and stuff like that. I guess it was Italian, but I'm not sure. But yeah, um, that would be cool. I imagined it if you, we would have like a skull or something as a debug object, something like this. I would put lots and lots of those uh, things there. Also, the spooky stuff pack from The Sims 4 is pretty useful here because I could use like all the cobwebs, even the spiders. Um, you know, some creepy stuff that comes with it. It was like suiting for the whole build. Then I also used some bathing robes, I guess it's called in English, in black. So maybe those are like the cloaks they are wearing during the rituals they do there. And maybe they offer some other fish to the big lionfish. I personally got like me a lionfish from the debug mode and put it like in the middle and then some candles or incense and some crystals on every point of the pentagram. Point? Yeah, on every point of the pentagram. I guess that's what you will call like the edge of the pentagrams. Yeah, me as a German again. I have no idea how you would call it, but yeah, I guess you get what I mean. And then there's also like a little table there. I used the old clutter objects, I guess it's old books, you know, all that stuff, some chandeliers, something soothing. And then I thought maybe they sacrifice some or like cut open the animals or whatever they're going. Maybe they use their newborns. I have no idea. Um, one little macabre idea I had, maybe in my let's play, I will use and put like a bed next in there or next to the ritual room, something like it, to have like some kind of a Rosemary's Baby wipe going on. So if you know that horror movie, I mean, that's a classic. Yeah, maybe. I have no idea, maybe. But then I thought maybe that's like too much. I mean, being raped by Satan himself is maybe a little bit too much for some children, so yeah. Also, I will use the creepy looking chests from the Halloween special. So every base game, people should have that. I, again, have no idea what kind of um, packs I used here. I guess some will be deleted. I don't even know where the floor lights are from. So those are like, I guess, the most important ones to have the pentagram on the floor. That's the central piece of my interior design in this video. <laughs> but yeah, if you don't have that, it's not a satanic crypt after all. You always need a pentagram somehow. And like somebody told me that a pentagram is not even like an evil symbol. It's like a, I guess you say pagan in English is like old, very like a really old symbol, even like way before like all the witch and devil stuff got like, I don't know, en mode, en mode, fashionable in medieval times. <laughs> and yeah, it is kind of creepy though. Like in Germany, we had like a, also in America, I've heard, but like we had like a big rush on all the witchcraft stuff and like lots of people got hanged or somehow tortured to death because they are supposed to be witches and it was like yeah if she drowns then she is not a witch and if she doesn't drown she's a witch and then we will kill her i mean that's like <laughs> okay <laughs> really nice ideas you have there guys but yeah I'm pretty happy that I'm not living in these times. So like all oh, every people, like lots of people will think that it would be so cool to live in medieval times. I would have rocked it somehow or something. But I'm really, really sure that I get sick pretty soon because the hygiene in Germany was like horrible. Or I will have, because I'm like a pretty free-spirited woman and sometimes I say stuff that I better did not say. I guess I would have hanged for being a witch or something. I'm pretty sure that some people can, wouldn't stand me and they just say that I'm a witch and then I'm, yeah, they're my pretty fact, I guess. So, yeah, um, medieval times not so good. I guess there were better times or better places to be. But yeah, those people should maybe think about if that is like the cool idea. 
But yeah, that's the build. So I haven't put the build up like as a download itself as a room because it's separated with some kind of spandrels, I guess it's called, and yeah, some archways. I don't know. To make it look more detailed, but if you want to download it, you have to download the Poppy Villa and get the basement there. Or maybe I put up part of this build as a room, maybe. So write me in the comments if what you would like, and then I would also put like the download link, of course, in the video description for you guys. And yeah, that's it. It's Halloween actually pretty soon, so I'm going to do like a Halloween week in October. And I still need some inspiration what I have to build. I've already built like a costume shop and a spooky star and the serial killer basement. I also did like the satanic crypt right now. So yeah, is there like some stuff left? I don't know. Just write in the comments if you have some really cool, creepy and scary ideas for The Sims. And I'm glad to build that. <laughs> I want my game to be more interesting that way. If you think that's super weird and creepy, that's okay, you don't have to use it. You know, everybody just does what he pleases and if it doesn't distract anyone or anger anyone, then it's going to be okay, I guess. <laughs> So yes, um, that's it and I hope that you like it guys, enjoy the screenshots and I will see you soon, bye bye!